in all this like cosmic infinity, like in all this glory and all this like purpose mm -hmm. for your life. Like, <laughs> why is it so hard? If this is the one, if this is the truth, the one thing that we are to do, mm -hmm. and and he has the will to do it, and sees what's going on in his heart and in this mess, you know, why in this one, in the truth, in this one truth of all that is, is the one thing that we're supposed to do so hard? Jesus, who did not have a sin nature. The scriptures say he learned obedience through suffering. If Jesus had to learn obedience through suffering without a sin nature, what about us? Yeah. Yep, suffering is the way forward. Going through difficulty is the way forward. If, if, if the purpose of life is to know God and to make him known, not just intellectually, personally, this is what Jesus says in John 17, 3, he says, now this is eternal life, that they, he's praying for us, that they, people, they may know you, God the Father and Jesus Christ whom you've sent. If the purpose of life is to know God in a personal way, a relational way, and then to make him known, that's the Great Commission, that's going to take some pain. It's going to take some difficulty. It's going to take some effort. Even though salvation is free, we have to strain because what, is, what happens when we strain? I mean, it sounds trite, but it's true. No pain, no gain. If stuff comes to you too easy, you don't appreciate it, do you? You have to go through difficulty. In fact, what do we say to young people who have everything given to them? They're spoiled. What's spoiled? Their character. If you give somebody everything and they don't have to work at all for it, You'll ruin them. Yeah. And so God causes us a little bit to strain to know him, to learn about him. And it rewards us greatly. It would be difficult for us to grow if we didn't have difficulty. Thank you. I, if, right. if you don't mind, just uh, in this personal relationship, how do you pray and listen to God when it's so hard to navigate? What the way? Okay, yeah, good question. The way what? you listen to God is to read the scriptures. Mm -hmm. Read the scriptures. It's not about getting all sorts of external signs. It's about reading the scriptures because the will of God is never contrary to the word of God. Read the scriptures. Meditate on the scriptures. If you feel far from God, go to the Psalms. Mm -hmm. Because most of the Bible is God talking to us, the Psalms are us talking to God. All right? So the scriptures have everything you need to have a good relationship with God.